Uh, please open your booklet, page uh, 46, uh, to handle the vocab in details now, okay? Uh, vocab number one is the vocab deserted. Deserted is an adjective, means an empty place because all people have left it. So it's a place without, no, uh, without people, okay? It's called deserted. Comes from the word desert, you know? But here, deserted is an adjective, not a noun. And they don't be confused with the word again. It's old, but I will remind you with that. Uh, don't be confused between desert and desert. Desert and desert. Desert is uh, a word with one S, okay? And dessert, a word with two S in the middle, uh, means the sweet food which we eat after the main course. Okay? It's called uh, dessert, uh, dessert. But here it's deserted place, means an empty because all people have left it. Okay? Then, I will give, it, uh, give you an example for the word deserted. For example, when you visit a market in the dawn time, you find it deserted. The dawn time means the early morning, the early morning. So, example again for the word deserted means empty place. Example, uh, when you visit a market in the time of dawn, it's deserted. Uh, word number two, it's dusk. The dusk is the time of the day at the end uh, of the evening. It's at the end of the evening time, in the time of sunset. When the, when, when the sun sets, when the sun, sun uh, goes away, or uh, uh, when dark uh, darkness comes, it's dusk. Before darkness ca comes, okay, it's dark. Uh, it's dusk. So what is the dusk time? The dusk time is the time at the beginning of darkness and at the end of the light. Okay. Here, the dusk time in Egypt it may be at six o'clock. Okay. The dusk time here in Egypt may be at 6 o'clock, okay? So it's an example here. The dusk time in Egypt is at 6 o'clock, okay? It's an example here. Okay. Let's go now for the following word, which is the road side. The road side means the side of the road. Where did Anwar and Ashraf find the loaf of bread? They found the loaf of bread in the uh, the roadside or the side of the road, okay? The side of the street here I mean. Now it's uh, time for traveler. Traveler is someone who travels. Simply, someone who travels from a country to another country or from a place to another place, he is a traveler, okay? Uh, now, I like the coming three expressions. Coming here, three expressions we use in the spoken language more than the written language, okay? When you like, first the first expression is that's fantastic. That's fantastic. When you like something very much, and when this thing is wonderful, you say, wow, it's fantastic. Instead of saying it's wonderful, you can say it's fantastic. Instead of, instead of saying that's a great, you can say that's fantastic. Okay? This is expression number one. Expression number two and the three for bad things. When you don't like things or when you don't like something, you say the coming uh, uh, expressions. Expression. Uh, uh, number two is it's a shame it's a shame me 
means it's bad of you. You shouldn't do that. When any friend uh, of you makes something that you don't like, okay, and you want to say to him, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't uh, act like that, or you shouldn't do something like that, okay. You can say it's a shame on you. It's a shame on you, okay. Again, if any friend of you uh, says bad words, okay, for example, he said bad word. You can say it's a shame on you. It's a shame on you. Don't you say it like that. Don't you do it like that. It's a shame on you. Okay? This is for it's a shame. The last expression here is that's ridiculous. When you say something very silly or when you see when you see something very foolish, you know, you can say that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It's very silly or it's very bad. This is that's ridiculous, okay? Uh, belong to, belong to, belong to uh, is a verb, means that I own this or he owns this or we own this. So when this is your book, you can say instead of saying it's my book, you can say this book belongs to me. Okay? And if this is our class, instead of saying our class, we can say this class belong, belongs to us. Okay? If this uh, pencil is Ahmed's pencil, you can say this pencil belongs to Ahmed. Belongs to Ahmed. Okay? That's for belong to. The word gentle means it's an adjective, okay, and uh, it's very common and it's very used even in Arabic, gentle, okay. Gentle means decent, means a kind, a person who acts in a very fine way is called gentle, okay, it's called gentle. A person who acts in a very uh, good way, in a very kind, in a very helpful way, we call him a gentle person, a gentle person. Okay. Now it's conversation, conversation. Conversation means a speech between two persons, a speech between two persons. When we talk to each other, what happens between us is called the conversation. What we say is called the conversation. Okay? So who, who overheard the conversation between Anwar and the Ashraf? I mean here, who overheard uh, the speech between Ashraf and Ash uh, Anwar and Ashraf? The stranger heard uh, the conversation. Okay? Uh, over here, over here is very near for the word here or for the verb here. It's very related to the verb here. Here, over here, time. Here, to hear something in a common or in a natural way. But over here means when you hear something that is supposed to be a secret, okay? And you caught it, you overheard it. Okay, is it good to overhear other people? No, of course not. It's bad. It's bad. It's very wrong to overhear other people. Okay, right. who overheard the secret here between Ashraf and Anwar? The stranger. The stranger overheard the secret. What was the secret that Ashraf and Anwar? found a loaf of bread, okay? Now, extremely, extremely, means completely, means maybe it means very, okay? When I say something is extremely high, so it's very high. When I say something is extremely, or a person that he is extremely 
ridiculous that he is very ridiculous okay okay it's a quarrel 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 means an angry argument an angry conversation an angry speech between two persons and we have famous example for the word uh, argue you remember when I, uh, I told you never argue with your parents never argue with your, your teachers okay so that means uh, the word or the verb argue means to speak in a loud voice okay and uh, uh, speak some uh, um, bad words in very bad behavior this is argue equal quarrel by the way okay equal quarrel so argue equal quarrel who are quarreling here in our story Ashraf and Anwar are quarreling why because each one of them wants to take uh, the loaf of bread for himself okay then comes uh, break into break into means divide into okay and to take care here that this, there is a spelling mistake in the booklet okay divide is d i v i d i v i not d e it's a spelling mistake here break into means divide one think into two halves two halves okay who broke uh, who wants to break uh, or who broke the loaf here into two pieces hmm? the stranger the stranger the stranger tried to break the loaf of bread into two halves okay another spelling mistake i think here in the verb is split it's a split, not a spelled. A split, S P L I T. It's another spelling mistake. Take care. S P L I T. Okay? S P L I T. A verb. A split. Okay? Equal divide. Equal divide. Equal divide into uh, uh, one piece into two, uh, two halves, okay? Maybe three ha uh, three or three per, uh, pieces. Uh, yani divide uh, doesn't mean into two halves, but here in the story, he uh, the stranger is dividing the loaf of bread into two halves, okay? Tai break off, break off, break off, tai. What is the difference between break into and the break off? Break into means to divide. Break off means to take a piece or to cut a piece of something. Not to divide it. So the stranger here in the story tried to break off the piece of bread break off the piece of bread means to take apart or to cut apart from the first piece, uh, first piece then he went to cut apart from the second piece okay this is break off so don't be confused here between break into and the break off pop into pop into means to put in your mouth suddenly oh but okay so who popped the, the loaf of bread in his mouth the stranger okay so that uh, Amor and Ashraf looked at each other in amazing what's happening where is the loaf of bread okay when when did they look for each uh, other in amazement when the stranger popped the loaf of bread into his mouth suddenly okay type insult 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 Oh, it's a bad verb, it's a bad action. To insult people is bad, okay? Now, what is the meaning of insult to me, Iman? Insult means to say bad words or to act badly, okay? When you say bad words, you insult your friends. 
okay? And it shrunk to insult your friends. It's a shame on you to insult your friends, okay? This is a verb, insult. Okay, when you give a loaf of bread to your friend on his birthday, for example, it's an insult, okay? Uh, when your mother calls you and you don't reply, it's insult, okay? This is a verb, insult. It's good to, to insult others? No, it's bad. Hurry off down means to run quickly and disappeared. After the stranger popped the loaf of bread into his mouth, he hurried off down. He hurried off down. He hurried off down means he disappeared. Okay? He, they didn't find the stranger now. In amazement, in amazement means in a sur surprisingly, okay? When you are amazed, you look in amazement. Who looked in amazement? Ashraf and Anwar looked uh, at each other in amazement when the stranger popped the loaf of bread into his mouth. Silly means stupid. Equal, ridiculous, okay? Silly means stupid, equal, ridiculous. The coming page, okay, starting with the three adjectives, okay? Selfish and greedy, selfish and greedy are negative adjectives, are bad adjectives. And the adjective selfish means to think of yourself only, never to think about the others. This is to be selfish. And you should never be selfish. Okay? Kind people are not selfish. Kind people are not selfish. Helpful people are not selfish. Okay. Greedy is very similar to selfish. It's a negative adjective. When someone wants to eat everything, wants to take everything, wants to have everything, Okay, it's greedy. Greedy equals selfish? No, they are not equal, but they are very similar to each other. Opposite, generous. Opposite, generous. The adjective generous, opposite adjective greedy and selfish. Generous means to, is ready to give anyone anything. All the time he is giving. A generous person all the time is giving and you should be generous with your friends at and, and at your homes okay when you have a guest at your home you should be generous okay when you find a poor person you should be generous with him you should give him this is generous foolish equal stupid equal silly equal ridiculous all of them are negative adjectives Okay? Sensible person means a person that is wise. What is the meaning of wise? A, per a sensible person means a person who can take a decision in the right time. The right decision in the right time. This is sensible. Okay? Dishonest. Opposite honest. Dishonest person is bad person. Always tells a lie. Always steal things. Always um, hide the truth. Doesn't say the truth. He is dishonest. Opposite honest. Honest is a good person, kind person. Or never tells lies. All the time tells the truth. Never takes the things that don't be, uh, belong to him. He is honest. Okay? Tricky means being difficult okay and the slender means a thin in attractive way slender okay when a slender a person is a slender is he is in a good shape okay right uh, that's now 
or that the end for the vocab but here i want to, uh, to give you some summary for the adjectives good adjectives and the bad adjectives that we found here in the unit okay the good adjectives are generous honest gentle fantastic okay um that's for the good adjective and the slender is a good adjective by the way okay the bad adjectives ridiculous silly foolish uh, dishonest selfish greedy all these adjectives are negative or bad adjectives this was for the vocab explanation okay and uh, wait for me for the next audio to do some exercise on the vocab goodbye